Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail, this is going to be my second new series, Beauty Banter and of course we got some beverages. So, so if you have not subscribed to the channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe. I do a lot of makeup, mostly all makeup on this channel. I'm thinking about having my husband come on. He's kind of funny y'all and maybe, you know, do my makeup or something. He is... A trip but anyway um yes if you have not checked out the first bbb beauty banter and beverages definitely go ahead and check it out i will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and do so and if you are not familiar with my new series bbb it is just me doing makeup getting beautified on camera bantering mostly about my past relationships i have a lot of drama y'all unfortunately a lot of bad drama when it comes to relationships men so if you want to hear me talk about my first time and how i got a little compromised at the gynecologist definitely continue on watching so of course before we start chapter two of this series um this is the palette that i am going to be using this is from colored rain if you have not tried any of colored rain's shadows definitely go ahead and try it. you're missing out y'all she has amazing shadows and this one here is the smoke show palette this is what the color story looks like it looks really really pretty i have tried this one and i am going to grab a black from a different palette so definitely get you a black if you want to recreate this look so um of course we gotta talk about the drink that i am going to be drinking this right here y'all i love this if you are a sweet wine type of girl this is one you should try it's really really sweet this one is l de cou de co l de cou <laughs> l de cou imperial cardinal red this is the sweet red wine real sweet this is not bitter y'all and i'm just warning y'all if y'all don't like sweet wines don't get this because this is Probably uh, equivalent to Welchers with a little bit of alcohol in it. And this one has at least, let me see, not at least, 11.5% alcohol. Instead of the little 5% alcohol that we get with Stella Rosa and all that, this one is going to get you right. You're going to feel a little bit of a buzz. Okay, y'all. So just in case you haven't watched my first series on BBB, I did talk about a boyfriend, a past boyfriend. I did mention that I was going to tell y'all a story that's very, very embarrassing. But I think I'm going to have to wait. This one will be called The Gift That Keeps On Giving. Use your imagination. You'll know what I'm saying. So in the last video, I did talk about how I was going to make him wait until I made my 17th birthday to engage in intercourse with him. Wrong decision, wrong decision, wrong decision. My mom used to be all over me about my virginity back then i'm pretty sure even now um because i still do the same thing to my daughter i advised my daughter to don't do it don't do it so this was the discussion between my mom and my mom's sister so of course i have a cousin who is the same age as me and she decided to put her daughter on birth control but my mom decided against it she decided against it because she felt like it was going to give me permission to go out and have sex that's what she said so she felt like it was going to be like okay well i'm safe now let me go ahead and do the do you know what i'm saying and my aunt decided okay well i'm just going to be safe because i'm not about to be no one's grandmother right now i'm not helping raise no kid of a 16 17 year old girl so my mom always was preaching to me she's like it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt you're not gonna like this it's gonna hurt it don't feel good she would tell me anything to discourage me from doing it like period like you not gonna like it it's the worst thing in the world i don't even know y'all she just had me scared but of course she's still curious too because you got friends you got friends who are telling you the opposite they like look <laughs> go ahead and do it you know peer pressure and i had a cousin real fast she told me all kind of things y'all this is that right there she told me all kind of shit that was wrong the wrong information like i thought i'm gonna tell you i'll, I'll talk to y'all about that in another video but um we end up going to the gynecologist y'all so and this was before i even engaged in any type of sex with this dude 
So right here, y'all, before I even tell y'all about the gynecologist visit, I do want to let y'all know that I am blending out this color right here with the same color. I'm just going lightly on top. And of course, I'll be going back and forth anyway just to darken this part up just a little bit more. But anyway, y'all, so I just thought of something. I don't even know why we made an appointment to go to con con the gynecologist. I was only 16 years old anyway, and I feel like there should have been a reason for me to be going to the gynecologist. I don't know if I went there just to be scared. <laughs> was I taken to the gynecologist so I could be afraid to have sex? I don't even know right now. I don't get it because um, I don't think it was necessary at this point for me to be going to the gynecologist. Um, if y'all have daughters, what do y'all think? Are we supposed to make an appointment just to get checked up at 16? I didn't do that with my daughter at all. I just didn't think it was necessary at just because you're 16 now it's time to go to gyne go to the gynecologist and i also want to add this to y'all of course um i had told her of course i wasn't um having sex i was a virgin at that age and yeah i had one cousin who started having babies at the age of 13 and she had about seven at 16 y'all i don't even remember but uh she had a lot of kids so that could be a reason why uh, maybe my mom was a little bit afraid of it, but I guess she's, it's just something to be afraid of anyway when you have daughters. And yeah, she had a lot of kids. She ended up with 10, but so we ended up going to the gynecologist and he knew that I was a virgin. So I go in there. I don't even know why he felt it necessary to use his hands to check for anything in my vagina <laughs> at all. I don't know what was the purpose of doing that. I mean, I wasn't getting a pap smear or anything like that. So I don't understand what is the whole purpose of checking me in that area. I just don't get it. And right now, the more that I think about it, I'm very, very confusing. I'm very confusing. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why his hands are up my vagina. Um, all I know is the feeling that I had was great pain. It hurt really, really bad. It hurt so bad that um, tears started to roll down my eyes. I actually, I was in great pain, y'all. Like, a lot of pain. After the process was over me and my mom left and of course i told her that it hurt really really bad and she knew i had tears running down my face i remember my mom telling me well this is how it's gonna feel when you actually have sex that's what she told me so i think the whole purpose of me even going was to scare me to not have sex and yeah that didn't work anyway because i still end up doing it <laughs> it's still that does not work People, kids are going to do it, but I don't agree because I have learned some stuff and I am using some things that I was affected by as a daughter. My mom was great, of course, but no parent, no mother, father is perfect no matter how great you are. Parents do make mistakes and the mistake that... So I guess y'all probably saying, what does any of this have to do with the gynecologist visit, right? It has everything to do with the gynecologist visit. No lie. When it happened, I expected something to happen. Something, some type of feeling, whether it be it good, bad. Y'all, literally, I felt nothing. I felt nothing. Like nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, when we were done, he probably had a hit to his ego because even during the time that it so-called went in he asked me if it was hurting me i remember him saying that and i said no <laughs> no uh i just laid there actually like i felt nothing and i was so confused like what is this I remember because we was in his mama's bed, which is really disrespectful, but hey, it wasn't my mom. I would never do that. My mom's in my dad's bed, but hey, that's his mama. He actually took me in that bedroom, y'all. I was over there and 
He's just he just disrespect his mama's bed. But yeah, I remember that and after I just laid there like looking at the ceiling like what the f was that? Like I don't know what just happened to me. Nothing. You know what's crazy too? I don't even remember seeing his penis at all. I think he hid it from me on purpose, so I don't even know what size it was. I don't know if it was small, but in my mind right now, I'm thinking at, at that age, it must have been small because like, what? I don't know what happened. It was nothing and he deliberately not let me see it. And I'm not gonna even lie to y'all, even right now, I can't remember what size he was. And you would think somebody would remember their first penis size, right? You would think a woman would remember that. I don't remember because I don't think he ever let me see it. But you can tell that's a, a 16, 17 year old child because ain't no way in hell right now, I'm not looking. I'm gonna look, I wanna see it. So yeah, that's definitely the first time. And there is a moral to the story that I have learned from this y'all. So I'm pretty sure y'all kind of put two and two together, right? Y'all, y'all know what's up. Y'all know that when I went to the gynecologist, that man stuck his big old hands in my <laughs> and stretched it out and popped my cherry because ain't no way in hell that I should have been laying on the table crying with tears in pain when he did that. But I didn't even think about what happened until years later, like way into my 20s, probably like my mid 20s, like, he didn't even let me see it. That's the first, um, that's the first reason why I think it had to be small because um, if it's big, men will be showing off their stuff, like period, you gonna see it. They gonna show it to you. They gonna make sure you see it. So what I have learned, because right now I'm a mom, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of moms kinda could relate to what I'm about to say. My, my daughter is 19 years old. And of course I advise my daughter not giving any of her personal information out we're not doing that we're not doing that so i learned a lot of things she's not going to the gynecologist to get anything stuck up her at all i don't care what it is moral of the story if you are a virgin do not go to the gynecologist and let them stick anything up your cooch because um uh, you might just lose your virginity to the gynecologist So this is what I'm looking like, excuse the hair. I'm just trying to keep it out of my face so I can do the rest of my makeup. But I think it's looking pretty good. Like I said before, um, my makeup lovers, if y'all have not checked out Color Ring, y'all definitely need to. This is looking really nice. I like this look. So don't worry for people who did watch the first video, I am going to be talking about the gift that keeps on giving. I just wanna keep the video kinda in order. So, you know, as the events happen, I'm gonna put it in order so you know I never gave this dude a name you know what we're gonna call him let's call him Bob his name is Bob so my first boyfriend his name was Bob so remember that uh -oh. and that's my last boyfriend who's speaking in the background just in case. I am your seasoned husband of 10 years and my last boyfriend right Yes. All right. See, that's my last boyfriend. His name is Tristan. So we just gonna call him Tristan. We can call him T. We gonna call him T. T. As a matter of fact, I am kind of empty. Please <laughs> hook a sister up. Look, but I'm about to indulge in after I drink my beer a little bit. You mm. want, you don't want this. No, I don't want no sake. I don't want any sake. He's gonna be drunk tonight. I will not. He will. <laughs>
Okay, y'all. So, um, this is the end of chapter two. Definitely let me know what y'all think of my experience. To me, I feel like it's kind of like traumatic in a way. So drop down in the comment section, of course, and let me know what your opinion is. If you even want to share your experience or, of course, drop suggestions for mothers who have teenage daughters, definitely get in that comment section and leave your suggestions or even yourself. Like if you want some advice, definitely get in the comment section so we can talk a little bit more about this type of experience as being a teenage young woman type of experience that we all have to go through. Most of us have to go through. So anyway, um, yeah, as for the makeup, y'all, if y'all like this color story right here, I definitely think you should go ahead and get it. Um, color Rain, I mean, it's the bee's knees, one of my favorite brands. And y'all already know I got some hooded eyes. They are thick as you know what, the hoods are thick, y'all. So this primer right here, I have used it multiple times. And as y'all can see, you, you are not seeing any creases on these eyes, period. So I do recommend this if you want to, you know, make sure your hooded eyes stay, uh, smooth and not creased up i would definitely recommend it and of course if you have any questions about the makeup i would definitely answer it any questions that, that y'all have and i also want to add that chapter three is going to be the most embarrassing for me most embarrassing but funny video that i will probably upload when it comes to my experience growing up sexually uh yeah, just stay tuned, y'all. It's coming next week. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, of course, comment. Let me know what y'all think, and I will see y'all in my next video.